Hey, what's up? I'm Suresh for Susan, and uh, here we will discuss about Outlook 2013 that how to configure Gmail with uh, Outlook 2013. And uh, here we have a preview version of that, but the procedure is almost same. So we will click, we have a welcome screen, welcome to Outlook, and we will click on next. And here we have an option do you want to set up Outlook to connect? to an email account I will check yes and I will click on next here I have uh, two options first one is email account and second one is manual setup or additional server type uh, basically uh, this screen is as same as when we uh, configure Outlook 2010 and I believe that you are familiar with that um, just simply uh, choose this option but before going that we will simply check the thing that uh, we have enabled the IMAP or POP3 uh, for Gmail or not so for that I will go to mail Gmail and here I will type and the password okay so here we can check that uh, we have imap enabled or not if you don't know how to enable imap you can uh, go through with my videos uh, where i just show that how to enable the imap or pop3 and susan.n or you can check it out in susan.org where i just write a step that how to enable the imap or pop3 so that is quite easy if you will go through you can easily understand what exactly it is and how to configure it so here in settings we will go to settings and uh, here we have uh, forwarding pop imap and here we can see that pop is not enabled I will click enable pop for all if I am just going to configure the outlook with pop and uh, if not you can choose this option disable pop or um, here the second option which we are going to use is imap so uh, just make sure that it is enabled uh, when you just going to configure the outlook and click on save settings now i have uh, configured it now i will go back to the outlook and here I will click on next here are the three options I will choose pop or imap you if you just want to know a lot of uh, information um, much more information about pop or imap but what exactly it is uh, basically it's a protocol you can go through uh, Susan where I describe what exactly pop and imap and what advantages and disadvantages of using that so, here I will so here we type su slash susan you will type here your name and the, the email address now here we have two options first one is pop3 and second one is imap so it's up to you which service you just want to use and if you just want to uh, know that which service is good for you you should go and uh, read my article about pop3 and imap services where you can find out the advantages and disadvantages of pop3 or imap so here i'm just configuring it for imap and here i will give a uh, incoming mail server that is imap.gmail.com and here outgoing mail server it would be smtp.gmail.com it's the default uh, server for gmail and here you have to provide your email password and uh, okay and here we have to click on more settings where you can find out general we will go to outgoing server 
and here we check this box and uh, we will go to advance and here we will change it to SSL and uh, uh, okay SSL and here we will type the SMTP port that is for Google 465 and we will click here on OK and uh, I will click on next and here it is just configuring and testing our account okay here we can see that congratulations all this completed successfully click to close and continue here you can see that log on to incoming mail server and the send test email message has been completed we will close it and we will click uh, on next and here is the option of mail keep offline um, okay now it has been finished we will click on finish and here we can simply okay here you can see all the mails uh, here you can see uh, if you just want to uh, send a new mail we will simply click on new mail and uh, here you can see that all the mails uh, just from google and uh, youtube are available to outlook inbox so that is how we can configure uh, the gmail account with uh, office outlook 2013 and uh, here you can see that outlook send a test message to my gmail account which we can see here this is an email message sent automatically by microsoft outlook and uh, here you can see send items and all the folders so if you will go through that you can explore the things and uh, if, what if you just want to uh, configure another account for that you will just simply go here and uh, you have to click here uh, add account and then you have to follow the same procedure whatever I have told you before so that is all about how to configure Gmail with uh, your Microsoft Outlook 2013 and I will catch you next video we will discuss a little bit more about technology and Outlook and uh, of course the new term that is Thunderbird so that is all goodbye